Hello beautiful people, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to sell tickets on Wix. Wix is a platform that you can use to create a website for completely free even as a complete beginner. You do not need a credit card or anything like that to get started. All you'll need to do is go onto Wix.com. From there you can sign up using your email address and you're going to create a password. After you have done that, you will be redirected to a page just like this. On this page, I want you to tap on Create New Site in the top right hand corner. Once you have tapped on Create New Site, you will be redirected to a page just like this. All you'll need to do is tap on Set Up Without AI and you'll be redirected to this page. From here, you can select what type of website you want to create. So for instance, since this tutorial is about selling tickets, I'm going to be selling sports ticket. So I'm going to type in sports and from there I'm going to select sports blogger. So I'm going to tap right there and I'm going to select next. But you can type in whatever type of website you'd like to create as I'm going to be showing you the plugin option that you should, should choose and how you will be able to upload and sell your ticket. From here, you can choose your website name. So I'll type in simple football. Let's do that real quick. Then tap on next. After you have tapped on next, you will be redirected to a new page. And on this new page, here are the plugins that you can choose from. So you have the blog, you have a chat, and you also can add your Instagram feed if you want. Then you're going to scroll down and from here what I want you to do now is tap right where you see events right here. By tapping events you'll be able to sell tickets and you can also track RSVPs if you wanted or create events. But we're going to tap on events right there. We can also tap on online store if you would like to sell other stuff so you can do that too. Then you're going to tap on next at the bottom of the page. Once you have tapped on next, you're going to be redirected to this page. And I want you to select begin with a template. By tapping on begin with a template, you'll be provided with beautiful template options that you can choose from that will make your website look like it was created by a professional that is creating website for years. If this is your first time creating a website. So you can see the different templates right here. And remember that I selected a sports blog. So this is why I'm getting these type of recommended templates. And I'm going to be using this template right here. So all I'll need to do is tap on edit. Once you have selected edit, you're going to give it a few seconds while the AI composes your video or better yet your And once on this page, all you'll need to do now, you can choose whether you'd like the AI to write content for your site, but I won't be doing that. So I'm going to simply tap on the X to close it. Over to the left hand menu option and you can choose any one of these options. So the first thing I would want you to do is tap on the plus in the top left hand corner which says add elements. So whether you'd like to add anything at all on your website, left hand corner. Now that we have created the front part of our website, it is time to add our product. So we are going to be adding our product. All you'll need to do now, you could scroll down and you can observe how your website looks. So this is the product page. At the moment, it is populated by the sample products that Wix had added. All you'll need to do is tap right below all products and that is going to select all of the sample products that they add onto your store. Then you're going to tap on more actions and from there I want you to tap on delete. Then you're going to tap on delete once more. Now that you have deleted the sample products, you can add your ticket that you plan on selling. So all you'll need to do is tap on new product then we are going to be selecting digital file. After you have selected digital file, you will now be able to add your ticket. Right where you see upload file, you can tap on that. So your customers will receive a link to download your digital product, which will be the ticket. You're going to tap on upload file. 
Then from there, I'm going to tap on image. So let's do that real quick. After selecting image, you are going to search for the ticket that you plan on selling on your device. So we'll tap on upload media in the top left hand corner. Then you are going to tap on upload from computer. You can see the ticket has been added. All I'll need to do is tap on add product. And there is the product. So now I'm going to scroll down and you'll be able to add in the product information. So let's say for example, tickets for Friday night football. Then you can scroll down and if you'd like to add a description, you can also do that. And we're going to be adding a mock-up or a sample image. So you're going to tap on add images. Then we'll tap on upload media once more in the top left hand corner. Tap on upload from computer. And by the way, if you'd like to create a mock-up, you can do that on Canva for completely free. So the mock-up that I created was this one right here, a sample flyer. And you can also use Canva to create beautiful flyers. So you can see it right there. Now all I'll need to do is scroll down and from here you can enter the price that you'd like to sell it for. So let's say for example I'm selling it for $100. I'll put in $100 right there. Then you can scroll down if you would like to add the price that you purchased it for. So let's say for example, I got it for $20. So you can see the profit and the profit margin right there. All you'll need to do now is tap on save in the bottom right hand corner or the top right hand corner. And you can continue doing this and adding more products. After you're finished adding your products, you'll need to set up. Next thing you're going to do is tap on add payment method from the top menu option or you could go over to the left hand menu option and select billing and payments and then you're going to tap on payments. By doing this you'll be able to offer your customer or potential customers different payment options. For example you can connect Tilo Pay, and you can also connect PayPal and if you depending on the country that you're living in you may get different payment options that you can choose from, for example, Stripe and other payment methods. So all you'll need to do is collect, connect your payment methods right here. After you have done that, you'll now be able to publish your website. So you could tap on publish at the top of the page right here for it to go live. But before doing that, I normally tap on preview in the top right hand corner to just get an example of how it looks at the moment. So let me select preview right here. And once you select preview, if it is to your liking, all you'll need to do now is tap on publish. And with Wix, you'll get access to a free domain name that you can use. So you'll be able to the ticket right here. You can see that it is loading up. Remember, this is the poster that I had created. So all someone would have to do is simply tap on add to cart and they'll be able to purchase the ticket. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.